Hi, I'm RK here with another quickie. Uh, let's say you have a blueprint library where you keep your functions that you can use, you know, anywhere. Like you go to your actor class and you want to access the test BPL function you just made. You just type test BPL function, you don't have to do anything and it's all good. But now you want to make an object so you go to blueprint class go to object so the most basic uh, object you can make is derived from you object and you don't want it to be you know part of the world really you don't want it to have a scene component all of that you just want it to hold some data but not a data <coughs> that is kept in a library so you will make a new object, uh, you type, uh, for example, tutorial object, whatever, you open it, you add, you know, some code, like you add a custom event, A, and you want to print a string, of course, and you want to access uh, your function from blueprint library, and you type BPL, and you see there is nothing there and uh, there is a reason uh, why it's not there because functions from blueprint library next need a world context uh, actor basically world world context object and it's not shown by default you can see it's shown in print string the world context object, but it's not shown uh, in in those functions. So how can we uh, how can we solve that? Well, basically we make our own uh, function from uh, from C plus plus. We go to basically any folder we want, but I added it in my uh, actual plugin folder. Now just click a new C++ class, all classes, ob object, you make a new object class and when you open it in Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code, whatever you use, you just add this line. This little line that says, well, first of all, you can use it in blueprints and second, you show the world context pin, which means that the function can now uh, access that world context pin and you can use functions from library in your objects and uh, I already did that I made my world object that indicates it has world context pin and we can go to our tutorial object reparent it to world object and now when we type BPL it's there and now you of course have to provide the world context if the function is using the, um, the world context. And to do that, basically anytime you, uh, you create an object, uh, so uh, create object or construct rather, construct object from class, you have basically a class and an outer, uh, an outer object, so an owner. So you can just you know, leave it at self and when you are in your object you can just uh, get outer pin self to that well not self uh, no it, it's good it's good uh, you type self because we have an outer object as as self this tutorial object has the outer which is the actor that constructed that object and we pin it to world context and we can now access the function. So that's basically it. I uh, hope you learned something, hope you learned something useful and you're gonna use it in the future. And that's it. Uh, see you next time. Bye.